So, in Minecraft, items have durability. That's just a fact of the game that I would expect most people who play Minecraft to know. When you use a certain tool to perform an action in the game, it'll lose a point or multiple points of its durability. Now, the different materials that you can use to make tools in Minecraft are wood, stone, iron, gold, diamond, and now netherite in the new 1.16 update. And you may be asking, why are you telling me all of this if this is a Hive Survival Games video and weapons don't take durability damage when used anyways? Well here, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Now, when you hit people with weapons in Hive Survival Games, they don't take durability for whatever reason, probably because Hive doesn't want the weapon to break when you use it. However, for whatever reason, when you break blocks, specifically leaf blocks, which are the only breakable blocks in Hive Survival Games, for some reason, swords take durability damage and so that's how you can actually get durability on your swords for if you would want that for some reason i guess the way that i noticed this was i was just kind of memeing around in a survival games game with a friend and we just decided to break a tree for no reason and i decided that after i saw my sword taking durability damage by breaking leaf blocks i figured hey why not try and like break the sword i guess and so i tried this on my own a few times and I noticed that tools seem to be breaking a lot faster than the durability values that I found online would suggest. They were breaking about twice as fast and I wasn't sure why. And then I found that breaking blocks with a sword specifically is using it the wrong way and so Minecraft counts it as two uses. So that way you can actually break swords and other weapons in game faster if you use them for the wrong purpose, which is kind of funny. And so that's exactly what I did. I went around breaking leaf blocks in high survival games with swords, trying to break my only weapon in the game. And that's how this video happened. Enjoy. So let's do some math here. Diamond tools have 1,561 durability points on them, and if we divide that by two, since we're using a sword to break leaves, which isn't its intended use, it'll be 781 uses of the diamond sword, which means that if I was breaking one leaf block per second with the diamond sword, it would take me a about 13 to 14 minutes to use the whole diamond sword. Now in practice breaking a leaf block actually takes a little bit less than one second so we'll just estimate that it takes around 10 to 11 minutes to break the entire diamond sword but either way I realize that most games that I play in, in survival games take way less than 10 minutes to be done just because generally either I or other players are going around killing everyone in the lobbies. So one thing that I had to plan for was the fact that there could be decent people in my lobby and if I see there are decent people that I know will get a bunch of kills really quickly, it might be smart for me to requeue and not waste my time here, which actually ended up happening a few times. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention the obvious fact that I'm most likely not going to get a diamond sword off of spawn. I have to get lucky and really look through every chest and hope that for some reason someone is dumb enough to not take the blue sword out of a chest. And also remember that by my estimates, there are probably about five or six diamond swords that spawn in a game total, including supply drops and cows. So realistically, I just have to get really lucky by getting a diamond sword off of spawn or in a chest somewhere very, very quickly. And in my about 15 attempts of this, I only got a diamond sword out of mid three times. The first time that I got one, I was dumb and I immediately showed it once I got it, and so I got followed off of spawn by multiple people, and I got cleaned eventually when I tried to fight them. The next run that I got a diamond sword, I actually managed to go to the place where I wanted to do this challenge, which is on SG4 up in the little mountainous area, because literally no one goes up there. And um, I got a diamond sword and I was well on my way, and I probably got it down to about less than 100 uses left of a diamond sword before people ended up killing people too quickly and I was unable to complete the challenge because I went to deathmatch too quickly. Now the third run that I got a diamond sword, I kinda did everything perfectly. I went to my area, I had to end up killing one guy unfortunately just because he was in my way. Um, and I didn't want him to follow me. I was also trying to kill as little people as possible just to make the game go on as long as it possibly could just so I have more time to break leaves. The funny part about this game specifically was the fact that a guy who kind of walked up on me and I just didn't really pay him any attention because he was just kind of looking at me and crouching at me, I guess trying to get me a team or something. I'm not entirely sure, but he seemed chill. 
until he started breaking leaves on my tree and that's when I had to unfortunately kill him just because I needed the leaves to break and I couldn't afford to have him breaking all of the leaves that I was already trying to break. Another scary thing about this game was the fact that Deathmatch Countdown started before my sword actually broke, so I was getting really scared that I wouldn't actually be able to finish the challenge here, but luckily I was able to and you'll hear my reaction here. Yes, let's go! Okay. Wow. 15 seconds left. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose the game here, but I don't even care. I don't have a weapon, right? No, I don't. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so glad I'm done with this. Wow, and I actually managed to win that as well, that's kind of good, but Jesus Christ, okay. I spent way too long on that challenge, and I'm just glad it's over at this point. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I also kind of clutched up in the deathmatch at the end, so that was pretty cool. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me proving that you can, in fact, break a diamond sword on Hive Survival Games. The style of this video was kind of meant to mimic the style of Sal C1 in his Minecraft shorts of the server 2B2T. So tell me if you guys find the style interesting. I thought it was kind of cool to do, albeit it took kind of a while to put this all together, edit it down, and just to do the challenge in general, but it was still a good time all around. So so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what other challenges you guys think I should try and do slash prove other stuff that you can do on the Hive. Also be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.